What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and to the kickoff of a new series that I am very excited for. American Truck Simulator. Let's play American Truck Simulator. Guys, I have been eyeballing this game for a long time. Um, I've recently just, I've, I've felt a desire to get deeper into these simulation kind of games. Um, so I, you know, I dropped the, like, what, $5 that it was on American <laughs> Truck Simulator. Uh, it was on sale on Steam, and I have not been disappointed. Um, I created a, uh, I created a game and started running some, some truck driving jobs, and I was blown away by how just nerdy fun this was so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start over um, i'm gonna do a let's play with you guys i've I, I didn't get very far in the in my career before i realized that i wanted to restart um on camera so i could have kind of like a um, video record of all of the places that i've been and things that i've done so yeah here i am now we're gonna kick off a new um, american truck simulator campaign and i think i'm just going to dive right into it and explain things as i go for anyone um, that isn't familiar with the game so why don't we let's see let's go to manage profile so i have my one um, profile and i'm going to select you see okay so you can see you can see what i was able to accomplish with my uh, first character why don't i take my face off the screen just for a few moments so I finished uh, eight deliveries. Um, I was able to buy a truck. So something that you'll learn is that um, when you when you start the game, you are a truck driver picking up odd uh, odd driving jobs from other companies, um, and you can save up money and purchase your own truck, um, and and then you can go pick up uh, freight and and cargo from other people and drive it across the country, which is cool. You kind of go from being a driver for hire to kind of starting your own small truck company. And, uh, that's, that's as far as I got. Apparently you can build up to having an entire, uh, trucking empire with multiple garages, a fleet of trucks, hired drivers. Um, I've not, I've not reached that point myself, um, but I'm, I'm actually really excited to, to get there. It seems like it's going to be a blast. Let's, uh, let's, create a new profile um i'll call myself yeah westbrook um is this the name of the company no this is my name and my other character is already westbrook maybe i'll can i add my first name is that does that work okay christian westbrook cool um the pictures are kind of funny it's like random people's faces so maybe i'll pick a different one okay let's uh i think i'm gonna go with uh, this guy with the trucker hat and the glasses. That seems quite uh, appropriate and hilarious. Um, preferred truck design. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so um, I think I think I'll pick a Mac. I'm not so I'm not I'm not like a trucker in real life or anything. Um, and I don't really know a lot about these other trucking brands. Really, Mac and Peterbilt are the ones that I'm really familiar with so i think this mac looks pretty cool um with the dark gray so we'll go with that company logo oh you can't oh yeah i, f I forgot you can't scroll um there really aren't a ton of logos here to pick from um i think this one this one looks pretty cool shout out to um what like indian motorcycles or something that's pretty cool yeah i like that um for the company name let's do Westbrook Trucking. Nice and original. Okay. So map module. California. Use Steam Cloud. Sure. Yeah, so we can back up our saves. Language English. Yep, that looks good. Um, male. Oh, I clicked the, the male. Oh, that's female. Okay, so there's male and female here. Interesting. Okay, I'll go find my, my trucker guy again. That was... Only slightly confusing, not too confusing. There he is. Okay, cool. Sweet. Let's create this new profile. Awesome. Okay, we now have a level zero American truck simulator profile, and we will kick off a new game. Let me bring the cam back up. All right, and hit continue game, which really should be a new game. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna do we're gonna do controls. Hopefully this remembers. Um, I made a couple small tweaks to the controls um, in Steam. It was a, a, like a Steam controller setting. So Steam should be controlling my uh, my layout, my mapping of actions to buttons on my 
um, controller. I'm playing with a, uh, an Xbox controller, as you can see here. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully Steam remembers that. Should be fine. We're going to do um, sequential manual shifting to make this a little more, a little more uh, manual engaging uh, kind of fun. Yeah, I have pretty much all of the settings set to the most realistic and or difficult just to make things interesting and more of a challenge for me. So, yeah. Let's kick it off. I think uh, I think it'll I think it'll uh bring us right into a mission. I think right off the bat we get like a starter job that's really easy or something. This is cool. So this is a this is a screenshot from the Texas DLC, which uh, I guess is the latest and greatest. Um, no, there, that's Texas and then uh, maybe Oklahoma. Yeah, Texas and Oklahoma are the most recent um, mods. Okay, can I can I zoom here? Okay, I can move around, but I can't I can't zoom. So the first thing I guess that the game wants to know is where we want to base our operations out of. Now here is the trucking. American Trucking Simulator, Truck Simulator map. Um, we've got from Wash. Oh, so okay. I guess I should say the original base game was California, right? So you started out in California, and I guess they made Nevada and Arizona free. So if you um, if you just buy the base game, it'll come with California, Nevada, and Arizona, which is a lot of space to cover. But they have um, they have a bunch of mods for different uh, or DLCs for different states. Um, you can go all the way up to the north to through Oregon to Washington, Idaho, Montana. We've got Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, which I'm really excited about. I used to live um, just outside of Denver, so that is pretty cool. Oh, what is this? Farmington, New Mexico. Oh, is that like... I think it's green because maybe it's the default selection here. Who knows? But yeah, we can go into New Mexico, and then you'll notice um, on all of this part of the map, we see uh, cities that I can choose as my starting location for my headquarters that is because i have all of these dlcs uh thanks um thanks to, uh, to the thanks steam for the sale um texas and oklahoma are newer and so they weren't on quite as much of a sale so i'm gonna wait um yeah i'm gonna wait and see if those go on sale in the future before picking them up but yeah this is the extent of the map in the game um i saw in the news on steam that uh, kansas is going to be coming next so that's uh, pretty cool it looks like they're slowly marching their way east across the continental United States, and that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, everywhere, all of these states that you can see with cities, these are all places that I can go and roam, and I have been to um, mostly none of them. Most of my uh, eight hours invested so far has been spent in California and Arizona. Um, so yeah, let's uh, pick a starting location. I'm So the two that I have in mind, one is Denver, because I used to live there, um, so that's kind of a pretty cool uh, thought to start in Denver. But another thought is to start in San Francisco because this is actually where I work right now. So I live in Arkansas, but I work remotely in San Francisco and I travel there very frequently. Um, so I kind of like the idea of starting out in San Francisco since it's a place that I go to often in real life. It's pretty cool. And since it's um, a part of the original state, I kind of would feel like I'm starting in the first zone that the developers created and then I can kind of radiate out and expand from there. Yeah, I think that I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's pick San Francisco, California and confirm selection. Do you want to walk through the tutorial? Oh, I'm going to say I'm going to say no. Do y'all want to see a tutorial in the video series? I'm going to say no. I'm just going to I'm going to just going to start the game. Yeah, let's not do the tutorial. Okay, so maybe um, maybe it'll load me directly to my garage. Monday, 10 a.m., day one, San Francisco. $568 is our starting balance. That is so funny. This Volvo VNL, I think, is a DLC. I think it's a... Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not. I don't know if Volvo is one of the brands that you can buy out of the base game. So they have a DLC that allows you to um, haul more interesting cargo that I haven't purchased yet. Oh, welcome to American Truck Simulator. Oh, this is San Francisco. It looks like City Hall. Ooh, and you can see, um, it's not the... I don't think that's actually the Golden Gate Bridge. I think that's the other bridge in San Francisco. 
Yeah, but it's still a really cool bridge. There are multiple epic bridges in San Francisco. But yeah, that, this totally looks like San Francisco. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. Yes, I am so stoked for this. Um, you, your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. I love this. I love starting uh, games like this with nothing um, in the sense of progression. Uh, in kind of building up to owning your own company and expanding out. That's really cool. So I'm, I'm excited for that. This is going to be a blast. Your task is to safely deliver a load of car parts to Voltsen Dock in San Francisco. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. I think we can do it. So I said no to the tutorial, but maybe it still will give me kind of like a starter job, even if... It doesn't kind of like walk me through everything. Cool, sweet. Okay, um, so right off the bat, I can see that I have a GPS enabled. Wow, this is freaking cool. This looks awesome. Um, let me go into the settings right off the bat. Let me go to options, gameplay, and let's make sure everything looks right. So fatigue, traffic offenses, yes. Um, I actually want to extend the job length factor to make my trips longer and I, I guess harder. Now the route advisor speed limit, I wanna hide that. Don't give me the warning, I wanna make it harder. I, I wanna actually have to pay attention to the road. Um, we're never gonna automatically park. Keep route advisor hidden, yes, we wanna keep that hidden. Um, do I want the heavy cargo warning screen? Mm, I don't know, I think I wanna kind of figure it out on my own. Um, show navigation, yeah, let's do never. Navigation mode, uh, best if we ever decide to use it. Parking difficulty, always select. Yeah, random road events we can keep at the uh, default values. Time zones, yeah, let's do let's do time zones. Um, show cutscenes, yes. Show blockers, invert mouse. Okay, cool. Sequential transmission. This looks good. Um, advanced trailer coupling, yes. This stuff looks good. I don't I don't exactly know um, where these should be set to make the game more realistic. Uh, maybe I'll figure that out later. So truck speed limiter, no. Rain sensor, no. I don't want anything automatic. No, we don't want to automatically start the engine. Yeah, basically, I don't want anything to be automatic. I want to do all myself. Let's simulate air brakes. Let's have our air brakes be realistic. Let's do realistic fuel consumption so we have to get brake. Uh, you have to get gas more often. Um, I'm not going to turn on the anti-lock braking system or the traction control so that we have to uh, pay attention. I'm trying to make this basically as difficult and uh, challenging, engaging as possible. Um, cruise control, let's turn off smart cruise control and adaptive cruise control. Yeah, cruise control. We're not really going to use cruise control. Emergency brake system, automatic blinker off. Um, sure, when, when it... Uh, when the steering wheel rolls back, I really don't care about that one. Cabin accessories, physics, yes, please. Okay, um, I think everything else should be fine. I really just wanted to make sure that the game was going to be as challenging as I want it to be. Awesome, so do I just exit? Cool, 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 and then go back to drive. Nice, okay, so I am in a Mack truck. Let's go. I can't see behind me out of the back. But is that a, I can see a microwave, that's that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you've got the whole cockpit here. Okay, so notice that um, because I changed the settings, we do not have the GPS in the bottom right. And actually, I'm going to turn this interface off to make it a little more immersive. Um, yeah, you can also turn these uh, side mirrors on and off, and they are pretty cool and useful. Um, I don't know, you can't really see the side mirrors with my camera in the way. I might turn them off and just make myself have to use the real side mirrors. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. And you know, I'm not gonna stick hard and fast in any of these rules. I'm gonna do whatever is gonna be um, fun and entertaining. So yeah, uh, this is what we'll do to try to keep it immersive. Okay, so it looks like the uh, vehicle's off. Let's turn it on. Okay, so lights on, and uh, but no engine, and then if we Turn the engine on, yeah, there we go. Sweet, awesome. Okay, um, I can, I, so a few things I can do. I can toggle through some cool camera settings. So I will show you this. Here is 
the truck that we're driving wow that is really cool um, and I'll, I'm gonna try to drive in the cab as much as possible the one time that I probably will change to this view is if I'm uh, whenever I'm having to actually park somewhere like deliver the cargo in a, in a tight spot uh, I'm, I'm not really good enough to do it completely in the cab I'll try to do it as much as I can but you know I will jump out to this view to help me um, if I need to if I'm stuck Okay, we've got the top-down view. That's pretty cool when you're driving along. This is from the front of the truck, so I can't rotate this view, but it just kind of like sits on the top of the truck. Here's down our, it looks like our left side. Here's the, again, the front of the truck at the bottom, and then this is front left tire. This is like a flyby camera, which is pretty cool. And then back to the cab. Yeah, sick, awesome. Okay, so um, I have the little advisor. Um, not advisor, the little navigation, uh, navigational panel over here, which is cool. In the beginning of our career, when we are using other people's trucks, we're going to have these nice fancy features. And then as soon as I can afford my own truck, um, I'm not going to have all these cool features anymore. So, um, yeah, I can at least see the roads around me. Let's take a look at the map to figure out where we are going. Okay, so we're in San Francisco, and we are at Charged. We're at charged, okay, and we have a uh, cargo that we need to bring up this road, turn right, and we need to go to Eddie's to drop it off. Okay, so we're going to leave this facility. It looks like we're going to turn left and left, okay? So, and I'm bad with directions, so this should be, uh, this should be, hopefully this is entertaining for you. Um, I probably will also back into people, bump into things. This should be a good time. We should have a blast. Okay, we're going to turn left here. We're going to turn left again and go up the main road. We're going to turn right and then, um, yeah, Eddie's will be on the left. So this will be the first major intersection. Yeah, okay, we'll try it out. We will give it a try. Okay, so I'm in neutral. I'm gonna um, shift up to one and give it some gas. Yeah, there we go. I actually don't know the way out of here. Um, is it completely around in a U? Okay, it's right there, there's the exit, okay. We'll flip back through our cam. Uh, options to the cab and yeah let's start driving I can see out of the right side mirror the um, the cargo the the trailer uh, being pulled behind me which is really cool so I can see if it's you know running over stuff or not yeah let's go I already forgot I think it's left and left is what I said oh I need lights let's go ahead and turn the lights on yeah so I can see my dash all right, okay, wide turn, wide turn. So left out of here, and I think it's left again. Is that right? Yep. Awesome. To the left again. Come to a complete stop. All right, look both ways. And it's interesting, so we can't go that way. You see the, the X's on the road. All right, shift up. Let's, uh, let's try to get up to speed. This should be... The northbound road, yeah, can I see? Oh no, this says I'm heading east. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn left again. Yeah, okay, I can see, I can see on the map. We're gonna have to turn left again. Already forgot, yeah, this should be, this should be quite entertaining, hopefully, for y'all. <laughs> Me trying to figure out where I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna downshift um, so we can get some acceleration off the jump when the light turns green. You can see that the road behind me is becoming yellow, and this is because we are starting to explore the world, which is really exciting. Um, so when we start off the game, every road on the map is gray, and as we um, progress through the game and explore more roads, we will turn more roads yellow, and that shows all of the places in the game world that we have actually been, which is pretty cool. Yeah, sometimes um, sometimes it's fun to go out of your way uh, just to go down a new road that you've never been down before. This is really cool because this is this is San Francisco, right? Is where we're in right now. Oh, yeah, we're starting the game in San Francisco, and so you can see the it's it's known for its trolley, and you've got the trolley going down the middle of the street, which is really cool, honestly. Okay, I don't know the speed limit right here. Let's take a guess that it's thirty. Okay, coming to a stop. All right, okay, so I can uh, I can hold down a button, and if you look at uh, my steering wheel at the little interface um, above the Mac logo, 
um, around all of my gauges, I can change the interface to show me different data. And so one thing is the air pressure. So uh, when I apply the brakes, you can see the air pressure um, will go down because we are simulating an air brake system, right? Oh, I'm on 10th gear. I need to drop that. There we go. We'll kick it up. Let's try to get up to speed. Awesome. Yeah, I really like playing with uh, manual mode on. It just makes it more interesting. I like to pay attention to the RPMs and what gear that I'm in. Oh, this is a... Man, how many speeds does this have? 12 or 18. I think 18 is the most that you'll see. Wow, I am flying. All right, this is not the turn right because um, it won't let us turn right. But yeah, we've got one more little stretch before we hit our right turn yeah this is so cool oh yeah check that out so i can look to the left and like look down the side of the truck that's pretty cool check out san francisco we'll shift back down to like i don't know four let's try four and see how that see how that hits um as the light turns green now if i go right now you may be wondering why is this guy obeying traffic lights in a video game well i will get fined money if i um don't obey the the laws right so i cannot just drive through the red light without um costing me money yeah so i have to actually wait at red lights so that, that might seem boring um but it's actually i don't know this is this is pretty cool it adds to all of the immersion that you're really a truck driver in uh san francisco the cities are necessarily much smaller than their counterparts in real life and the distances between cities is much smaller than the distances would be in real life. I think that's kind of to be expected. They're just enough to feel like you've accomplished something. It's just big enough and the roads are just long enough to make you feel accomplished and just short enough to keep it mostly interesting. Like you'll get to that moment of, wow, I've been driving on this road for a while. And then as soon as you get to that moment, something interesting will happen. Like you've got a, I don't know, there's a detour, or there's something blocking the road, or there's crazy cars around you, or it's time to make a turn and you've got new stuff around you. Um, I think the pacing is actually pretty good in this game. This is so cool. We're uh, next to the pier. This really looks like San Francisco. I am loving this. I'm going to get over to the left, check my left mirror. Yep, and I can turn the blinker on and off. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and the engine it sounds awesome. I really love the sound and the feel of the, the physics in the truck. Let's see, how heavy is our cargo? I am curious. Um, we are carrying car parts is what we're hauling and uh, 8,000 pounds. So, you know, uh, definitely not the heaviest thing that we're going to haul. Okay, Eddie's. I can see the flag on the map. That is actually very useful. Oh, and there's Eddie's right here. So we will put on our left blinker. I'll uh, shift it down. And we will pull in. Let's see. Oh, no, this is not right. Oh, yeah, already made a mistake. So this is Eddie's. But our destination, I guess, is really this place right here. Oh, and I could have read that. I, if I would have paid attention, right here it says Voltason, And I kind of noticed a V and was like, eh, whatever, we'll forget about it but I really should have paid attention. Okay, so we're gonna have to back up now. So I need to pay attention. Okay, this is actually uh, this is actually perfect. If I keep my wheel, um, I don't know, kind of aligned, the truck should back up um, where we want it to. Okay, so I need to look this way. Really, the first lane that I'm gonna be blocking is the traffic coming from my right. So this looks like a good moment to go. Let's look and see. Yep, that looks, that looks right. Awesome, awesome. There's a car coming. Okay, keep going. Now I need to um, go this way. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, as you can tell, I am absolutely... <laughs> I'm not a truck driver. This cop is going to find me. No, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Let's put it in two. Let's come this way. All right, yeah, Mr. Officer, there is nothing to see here. Just a truck driver on, uh, it's his first day on the job. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, crisis averted already off the bat. Not really a crisis. Do I need to turn in here? Yes. Okay, so look, I'm going to miss it again. Let's go to the left, and yeah, we, we have to make wide turns anyway, so it's not the... 
not the end of the world. Okay, so we'll pull in here, and there is the little destination spot. Ooh, it looks like it expected me to come in another way. Wow, I am really just not following instructions, I guess. It looks like there's a there's just another um, another way in and out. So this is going to make this uh, more difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and exit and turn around and go back in the way that it expects me to. Let's see, can I just kind of like turn around here? Is this car going to wait for me? Yeah, they're going to wait for me. I am holding up traffic. Let's go ahead and go. And then we'll turn left. And we'll try not to hit this car. Yep. What, are, what gear am I in? Six? Okay. Seems to be doing fine. Look at that. Right in front of the vehicle. They should start going. Yep. Traffic should go. Let's turn it around. Nice, nice. Great success. Hey, um, we're going to get into shenanigans <laughs> throughout the course of this game, but my motto is going to be all is well that ends well. Okay, so now that I'm on this marker, I can pick, um, sorry I'm in a hurry, I can get zero extra XP if I just skip parking it, I can play it safe, or I can say where do you need it, they'll give me a, a pretty tough spot to park it in, um, but I can get a bunch of XP. So, and it'll actually show you on the map where this is going to be so you can consider your options. So, um, with sorry I'm in a hurry now, skip, uh, you don't have to do anything. With let's play it safe, we're going to have to pull it in to the right, it looks like, uh, which will take um, some it'll take some doing to like kind of back up and go around wide to get into the spot. And I will have to take, uh, you know, a ton of tries to make it work, but it is what it is. And then there's, ooh, on the back side of the building. So it looks like... It looks like I'm going to have to go through this little service thing, maybe pull to the left and then back it up into that spot. You know what? Um, what time is it? Do I have time for this? Let's check the clock. Um, I do have time for this. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. All right. Um, let's, let's say where do you need it. All right, proceed to the unloading area. Okay. So, ooh, let's not roll backwards into the road. That would be bad. I can go. Okay, so I can't go left and around and go straight. Because if you look at um, if you look at where we need to deliver this at, okay, let's see if we can zoom in on it. So it's actually with my nose to the left, right? The the cab of the truck needs to be to the left. So I'm going to drive through here, and let's see if I can turn this to the left, okay? Why don't we do the flyby? That's kind of fun. Yeah, so the flyby, it kind of like picks a point in the sky um, and looks down on you as you drive. So that's pretty cool. This is going to be a tight fit, but we're going to we're gonna go left out of here. Let's come around. I'm going to look with the camera just to make sure I, I know. Yeah, so if you look at our, the glowing white target spot, I need to back the trailer up into the longer slot, and the cab needs to be in front of it on this side. So that's why we couldn't drive around and bring the cab in. Um, we have to pull through this way and then back the trailer up into its spot. And so that'll take some doing. Should be fun though. This is uh, this is one of the most interesting parts of the game. I would highly recommend not skipping this. Ooh. Okay, I am cutting it close, very, very close to the wall. And um, we don't want to damage the cargo. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So now if I... I'm on six. Let's bring this down to third gear. I'm going to push it forward. Try to straighten it out. Okay. And then we're going to have to reverse a long ways backwards. Straight. Right? Yeah. A long ways backwards straight. And I need to... Make sure that we don't get a huge bend. Yeah, we need to line it up and be straight. Yep. Okay, too far. Too far. There we go. That's a straight back. Now it's going the other way. If we look on the other side, we can see... No, it's going pretty straight. So, like, let's go... We need to go this way. Yeah. There we go. Low air pressure. Low air pressure in the braking system. That's what this sound is. So I need to go into neutral, I guess, and rev. 
Interesting. Okay, so because I'm like using the brake over and over, I'm running out of the air brakes. Very interesting. All the little problems that you run into driving a truck. Oh, I'm going to turn the, the navigation off because we know we know where we're going. Okay, so I'm in neutral. Can I just gas it? Like, yeah, so by revving, I can start to rebuild the air pressure. This beeping, is it is it the air or the parking brake? Oh, did, did I apply the parking brake somehow? Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay, let's let's try to check my messages and see. I don't have any damage. There's no short messages. I just don't understand what is beeping at me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong other than, of course, um, the air pressure being low for the uh, for the air brakes. Yeah, this is something I'm gonna have to learn and get used to, but I think we're doing an okay job. I think we're gonna make it there. As you can see, the trailer is pointing in the right direction. Okay, let's try not to use the brakes so much for this. Let's go the other way. We need to, yep, we need to avoid that, those crates. Let's see where we're at. It's kind of hard to tell if I'm going to scrape those boxes. Is that the air brake being low again? Yeah, I think that's what that sound is. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at this from the outside and see just see where we're at. I'm trying to do this from the cab, but okay, we're actually in a good spot. So if I angle, if I go straight, I'm going to back straight into the tires. So I actually need to pull forward a bit so we can carry on our... Um, path backwards. I need to straighten out just a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this into one. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just he's just doing his job while we're <gasps> floundering to back this thing up. Okay, let's go straight back. Okay, actually, we need to go this way. Yep, and then come around. Am I gonna hit the crates? No, okay, perfect. Yep, let's go, let's line it up. Now let's get it straight. I've really gotta figure out what's beeping because that is gonna drive me nuts. The reverse beeping makes sense. But I also just have this air pressure issue and it should be building back up as I give it gas. Okay, yeah, check this out. This is working out. Now I don't know where we need to stop exactly, and I don't want to hit the wall. Let's let's take a look and see where we're at. Oh, cool! We're really close. So we almost we almost backed it into the wall. Hey, this is kind of a cool view. You've got the pier and the boats over here. That's uh that's pretty cool. But yeah, we just need to pull forward into the right a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's get back into the cab. Let's put it into one forward to the left now I don't know if I don't have the okay it says cargo is ready for unloading would I know that without having the root divisor up this is something that I need to understand like if I'm if I can tell that I'm in the right spot or not I guess I might have to pull the root advisor up to check and see if I'm ready to um, to detach my cargo or not, but it looks like I am. You can see cargo is ready for unloading, which is great. I'm gonna apply my parking brake and I will um, detach the trailer. Let's uh, watch that happening. Yeah, job completed, awesome. We got a rating of excellent, that is cool. We got some new achievements. Nice, nice. Car parts delivered from San Francisco to San Francisco. Uh, driven distance 24 miles. It was not very far. Time taken an hour and 57 minutes. Now you'll notice that um, time 
uh, passes at a different pace in game than it does in real life, um, which is to be expected. We used a nine gallons of gas just to go 24 miles. That's pretty bad miles per gallon. Um, yeah, and our base reward is $568. We get 39 XP for the mission. Um, and then uh, we basically, we, we double our XP by... Um, actually parking the trailer ourselves. this trailer maneuvering bonus is definitely worth it to level up faster yeah so here we are um level zero we are a newbie with uh yeah 568 dollars now it looks like that's how much we earned is that our total now or just how much we earned let's let's see because i thought it said 568 on this screen but maybe that's how much the job was worth not how much money I had. Maybe I maybe I did start at zero and this was the first money. Oh, cool. A headquarters. This is your headquarters. Nice. I love how it just says truck headquarters. There's not like Westbrook trucking or anything on it. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Let's go. I am so psyched for this. Good luck. Awesome. All right. We are back in the uh, garage. Excellent. Um, it's kind of hard for you to see, but I will turn off the cam for just a second. Um, yeah, we can see we have level, uh, level 0, 79 XP and newbie. I'll go to the... Is the bank open? Nope, I don't have the bank yet. Can I see my money? Um, okay, I actually have $2,000. So it started us out with, I guess, $1,500. Um, dollars cash to start our business and we actually have a garage so that's that's a really cool starting point um no trucks no trailers uh one driver is myself profit in seven days is our 568 cool yeah so this is it um from this interface we can go to the job market and these three options kind of um uh, foreshadow for you how the game pro uh, progression will go so the first jobs are quick jobs um, you get hired as a professional driver no fuss everything is provided for just pick a job and drive basically you will load the game will load into the truck with the cargo um, attached you will drive it to its look its drop-off point and um, drop it off just like we did and so we're going to start by doing a lot of these quick jobs um, then at some point we'll buy our own truck and so we'll get on to the freight market where we'll be able to have our own cab and we'll drive to the cargo. So the cargo could be anywhere in the map, right? And the map is big. So you have to go to the cargo, pick it up, then deliver it to its destination and drop it off. So it's kind of cool. It adds um, adds a level of complexity. This is where I was um, in my other Let's Play. I had just unlocked the freight market um, when I was playing on my own before the Let's Play, I should say. So I've not I've not uh, actually finished a freight market job before, so that'll be cool. And then the cargo market. This says use your own trailer to deliver a wide assortment of cargo to their destination. This is pretty cool because then you buy your own trailer, and they don't even give you the trailer. So I guess I, I don't know how this is going to work, but it seems like we're going to have to go load something onto our own trailer. Um, so yeah, the complexity increases as you move up, and I think that is so cool and exciting. And that is um, exactly what we're going to do next time you join me um, on Let's Play American Truck Simulator. We will kick off uh, a quick job in the job market, and if I just give you... I'll just give you a little taste, right? So um, yeah, here is this interface. We can... There's all kinds of things that we can sort on, right? I like to sort on price per distance. I like to get the maximum number of dollars per mile that I drive. Um, but you can also pick to start in a in a specific um, city, start or end in a specific city, which is really cool if you're trying to traverse the entire uh, United States, right? Or the, not the whole U.S. But if you're trying to if you're trying to um, hit every city in the game world, then at some point you'll have to. Uh, make decisions based on the starting and landing location for jobs rather than um, just on money but check out the check out the cost of some of these things or not the cost but the weight on some of these jobs 33,000 pounds it's a uh, it's going to feel way different than our 8,000 pounds of car parts that we just delivered across town should be really cool um, thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me um, on my my pastime of driving a virtual truck. I hope you enjoyed uh, the episode. And yeah, join me next time and we will pick up our first 
real quick job on the job market, not the you know, cross town kind of starter job, but we'll go from a major city to a major city. We'll hit the interstate and uh, who knows, who knows what will happen, but I'll be right here and I hope you join me back next time. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.